Yeah. Negative 5i times 3i. Well, hey, if you can do this problem, which you've done before many times, right? You can do this problem because it's the same exact idea. You're multiplying two things. You're multiplying negative 5i times 3i. You're going to be multiplying the numbers together. You're going to be multiplying the i's together, just like you multiply the numbers together here and the x's together. Now, while this isn't a variable, it is a root. And we know that those roots get multiplied just like any other numbers do. What would you get out of this problem here? Negative 15x squared. What, wait, x or x squared? x squared. Where's the x squared coming from? OK, so you need to know that combining i's by addition or subtraction is different than combining i's by multiplication, right? Just like combining roots with addition was different than combining roots with multiplication. We realized that. That was a big part for us because some people were still putting roots where you didn't need them or not having roots where you did need them. So uh, on this case, we're, we're doing an i and an i, yet it's still only giving us an i because we're adding and subtracting. Here we're going to do an i and an i, but it's not just going to give us an i, it's going to give us an x squared. Oh, sorry, not x squared. No, we got that. We're going to get an i squared because we're multiplying just like we are right here. So where we got negative 15 x squared, we'll get negative 15 i squared. Do you see where the i squared is coming from? Yeah. Do you see why we have it here, but why we don't have it here? Yeah. Do you? Sure, we're combining like terms here. We're multiplying over there. Different story. Addition, subtraction, multiplication. Raise your hand if you're okay with it so far. Okay, good. Now, we just finished talking about something. Just finished. Should you ever have an I squared on your paper? No. Let me tell you something. If you finish with an I squared on your paper, you've either done something wrong or you're not done. All right? So if you finish the problem with I squared, you can't have that. Why? How much is I squared? So instead of having negative 15 i squared, I know it's negative 15 times negative 1. Can I complete this problem? Which is negative 15 times negative 1. 15. So interestingly, we don't even get an i out of that. Look at that. We've got a negative 5i times a 3i. We get positive 15. It's weird, right? Things happen with roots. These are roots. These are roots here. And what's happening is you're multiplying a root times itself. Notice that? A square root times itself. What's a square root times itself do? Gets rid of the square root. That's why we do this. That's why this happens. We're going to use this idea in division in just a little while. Do you feel okay with our example up here while we get positive 15 out of that? Mm -hmm. Yes or no? Yes. You sure? If not, ask some questions. We get time. Get nothing but time. All right. Well, let's continue. Let's look at a few more. But as long as you do get this idea that we're not supposed to have an i squared at the end of a problem, that's actually negative 1, and we're multiplying very similar to like we've multiplied before in this class, then you're going to be okay. Let's build this up just a little bit, try a few more examples, and if you have questions, please let me know. on that problem? Distribute. Just like we would have done if these were variables. Now these are not variables, they are roots. But just like you do, do with variables, you're going to distribute those. We've got a parentheses, we've got a, a term outside, a factor outside being multiplied. We know we can get rid of those parentheses by multiplication. So can you tell me? Let's go left side of the room. Left side of the room, what's the first thing I'm going to get you out of here, please? Good. Perfect. Negative 18 i. Do you see where that's coming from? Just like as, as if you, that'd be a variable. And <clears throat> we're also going to multiply this in here. Am I going to get plus or minus? What do you plus. think? Yeah, don't forget how to distribute. We all know how to do that. Plus, oh, let's see. What are we going to get? Plus what? <laughs> Firstly, do you see where the plus is coming from? Mm -hmm. Okay. So plus, we're going to have 6. And are we going to have i or i squared? What do you think? I squared. Are you done? No. Can you combine these? No. K 
candy combined. Are they like radicals? No. This is actually a, a square of a radical. That's going to go away. That's why we can't have an I squared. You're going to simplify that. How much is I squared, folks? Maybe one. Okay. Now, go, go slowly on these things. I know that they are going to be easy for you. They're going to get easy. Are they already easy for you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're going to get easier for you because you're going to get used to it. However, when you speed through them and you try to think of all those negatives in your head, sometimes you get a little lost. Right? So, I don't want you to go directly from here to your final answer because this negative times a negative, then you're going to have another negative in there that can really get wrapped up in your head and make some mistakes with that. So show me the steps on that. It doesn't take a long time, right? Maybe two steps, maybe two or three um, if you have a really rough problem. But, but show the work. Make sure that you really think about what's going on. Are you with me? Yeah. Yeah, otherwise, something's gonna, something bad's going to happen. So we, we distribute, we get negative 18i, we get positive, negative, negative, positive 6i squared. Can I change this i? No, that's the square root of negative 1. I can't change that. Can I change this i squared? Yep. Mm -hmm. So do that. I know I have negative 18i plus 6. And write this out. Write it out before you change anything about it. Leave the plus. Leave the 6. Just change that part. How much is this part right there? Good. Now go ahead and do the math. Now that you've translated the i squared to the negative 1, now multiply. And that's where we can change our signs here. Of course, we're going to leave it negative 18i, that's not going to change. But am I going to get a plus or a minus 6 after I do that math? Would you as Anna feel comfortable getting down to this far? Good deal. Now there's one problem with this. This is a complex number. However, it's written a little bit backwards. Do you guys see what I'm talking about? Yeah. We typically like to write the real part first. So if we do that, we're just going to move these pieces around with their signs. We'll have negative 6 minus 18i. That's the appropriate way to write, to write a complex number. Let's go ahead, we'll do a few more examples. I'll give you a couple to do on your own. Move on to some division, look how we do that. You know what's nice about these problems is even though we're working with like I squared and we're changing those things, at least they look familiar, don't they? Look like things we've done since the first, literally the first day of class. We've done things like this. How are you going to do this wrong? You're going to distribute. In this case, do we FOIL? Yes. So notice how this problem is a different problem than if we would have a plus or a minus between them. If I have a plus or a minus between it, am I going to distribute it? No, definitely not. No, because then I'm going to be adding or subtracting to complex numbers. But here, since that is multiplication, that does clue me into let's distribute it. Let's go ahead and let's do that together. If I distribute everybody, what's the first thing I'm going to get? 18. And then what am I going to get? Plus 3i. Great, I like the plus 3i. I'll do that. After that, I've done the 3 times the 6 and the i. What's next, folks? Minus 24 is square. Minus 24i. Mm -hmm. okay. I swear, where's the, where's, I don't oh, see sorry. Okay. And then lastly, we're going to do this one. We're going to get how much? That's the I squared. Do you guys see where the I squared's coming from? You can't afford to have an I squared where you don't need one. You can't afford to forget an I squared where you do need one, because that's going to change your problem. You see, look at this. Look at, look at the board with me. I know you're working on your own because you, you, you guys get this. That's great. I'll give you some in a bit. But if you do this, Notice how now this all becomes like radicals. Do you see it? But if you do this, these two are ultimate, ultimately going to become like terms. Do you see it? So that's, that's the difference. You'd be adding or combining the wrong thing. So there's never, there's never three different types inside a complex number? No. Inside a complex number, you have two choices. You have something with i or you have a number. That's what I'm saying here. You can't ever end with an i squared. There's no such thing as having an I squared the end of your problem. You can always simplify them. Always. So you'll either have numbers or I's. Never have an I squared, I cubed, I to the fourth, never. It doesn't happen. <clears throat> Are you still with me? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now before we go and combine anything, we're going to change any I squares that we see. Of course I have the 18, that's good to go. And I've got the plus 3i, there's nothing I can do with that. And the minus 24i, again, there's nothing there. Well, there's something there, but I can't change it. And then over here, though, that I squared, that's going to be something I can change. I know I have a minus 4. 
I'm not going to change it yet. I really want to think about what I squared does. I want you to realize that. This isn't just changing signs. You're changing I squared to a negative 1. <coughs> Ultimately, that is going to change your signs, but I want you to show that work. That clues me in that you understand what I squared actually means. You still okay? Yep. Okay. So the 18, no problem. Plus 3i, okay. Minus 24i, am I going to have minus 4 or plus 4 after that? Plus 4. Sure. That's what the I squared is doing. What next? Let's do it. We should have only numbers and I's. See a couple numbers there because it's 22. We'll write our real part first. I've got a 3i, a minus 24i. That's going to give me how much? I? Yep. I. That's it. We have a real part, an imaginary part, that's our complex number. Hey, tell me something. What are you going to do with this problem when I give you one like that on a test? If I give you one like that on a test? Right now. So you're not just going to square this one and square that one? No. We can't just do 1 plus 4i squared or minus 4i squared? No. Now, unfortunately, if we did that, we'd be missing some middle terms here. So when we get something squared, of course, when we're multiplying, we did this with, with distribution when we first started that. We are going to write it out. You can say, oh, yeah, I know that this means 1 minus 2i times 1 minus 2i. And from there, sure, we can foil it. Why don't you go ahead and foil this out for me and see what you get? Alright, so if you distribute, if we distribute, we're going to get the 1 times 1. I know that gives me 1. <coughs> then I want to get the 1 times minus 2i. That's going to give me minus all well, 2i. But then I have that same thing again. I have minus 2i or negative 2i, which you can consider it as times 1. That's another minus 2i. But lastly, I have minus 2i times minus 2i, or negative 2i times negative 2i. That negative, negative, that's going to create a positive for us. So plus. And I will get 4i squared. How many people have that on the paper? Good. That's just our distribution, right? I mean, we need to, we need to at least know that part of it. Now, the important part for us, the, the extension part of this, this is, really, this is really old stuff, right? I mean, we really need to know this in order to even be in the class. After this, the part we're extending the concept is just i squared. That's really it. Can you do something with the i squared? So here it's the 1 minus 2i minus 2i plus 4 just change the i squared to that negative 1. We know that's a definition for us. Every time we see i squared, it means negative 1. What that does is simply change that sign, really. 1 minus 2i minus 2i, and then minus 4. 